Hi, this is Mohammed Shakin here and you're watching a tutorial on excavator design in KTRV5. So we are in the assembly design workbench and uh, we have done a couple of steps on the uh, assembly of this excavator here. So excavators are heavy ex uh, construction equipments consisting of a boom, stick, bucket and cap on rotating platform known as a house and uh, the house sides atop and the undercarriage with the tracks or wheels. A cable operator excavator uses uh, winches and steel ropes to accomplish the movements. So they are natural progression from the steam shovels and often called the power shovels. So all the movements and functions of uh, hydraulic excavators are accomplished through the use of uh, hydraulic fluids with hydraulic cylinders and hydraulic motors. Due to the linear actuation of the hydraulic cylinders, their mode of operation is commonly different from the cable operated excavators. So let's go and go ahead and uh, insert the next component that is the back arm here. So I'm going to existing component with the positioning and I'm going to the back arm. So the back arm and let me do a coincidence constraint for this. And it's going to coincide no doubt over here. So make sure you're doing the opposite and then go to move, manipulate and uh, here you need to take care a little bit, use the drag around any axis and show the software the axis with respect to which you want to drag that particular object. So you don't have to worry that you cannot find the object here, you will always find it. If at all you're not able to find it, you don't have to worry. You just have to right click, hide, and go to the swap visible space, and then do the rotation the way you want, and then come back, and then you can unhide the product and see your product over here. So that's how you insert the back arm of the excavator design. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Any doubts, any clarifications, you can comment just below my video. And I'll be cl clarifying that uh, as far as I can. Thank you so much.